Today we're heading to the Kira Salt Mine, the crown jewel of Pakistan's history and nature, just a certain distance from Lahore. And by certain, I mean, well, prepare for a roller coaster ride. You know that feeling when you set out for a little adventure? Thinking, yeah, this will be a chill drive. Well, that was the plan. It was. So we kick off with the motorway. The roads were smooth, stunning landscapes, and me piloting the Oceanic 7, driving like a dream. The scenery, astonishing. Pakistan's beauty is on another level, I'm telling you. But of course, this wouldn't be an adventure without a few surprises. Just when we thought we arrived, boom, 17 kilometers of road construction, and not the nice kind. We're talking broken roads that make you wonder if the car is going to survive. While the locals lifted Corolla trucks fly by like they're auditioning for a Fast and Furious Pakistan edition. But hey, at least the views were worth it, right? Mountains towering above, the trucks loaded with salt, and a vibe straight out of a movie scene. And who could forget, higher up those mountains lies the wonderful Islamabad. But that's a story for another day, because I don't want to go that high yet. I'm already high enough in lore. At last, we reached our destination, the Kira Salt Mine. This place has been around since, legend has it, since Alexander the Great's horse decided to take a lick off the ground. And voila, salt mine discovery. The Mughal Empire later added their touch, and now here we are, standing in history. The mine workers were hard at work at the top, and we even spotted ruins of what seemed like a Mughal era castle. Talk about a time warp. The guest lounge? Phenomenal, clean, cool, and perfect for a quick rest before diving into the mine's wonders. Alright ladies and gents, we've finally arrived to our destination. We're here at the salt mine, and let's go see what's inside. It'll take you along. Let's go! The car is beautifully filthy. It's gonna be fun washing it. Surprisingly, the atmosphere is quite nice here. Because we're higher in elevation, it is a lot cooler than Lahore. And the breeze is very nice and beautiful. This must be the rail that goes through the mine. So cool. It's like a mountainous desert. There's just red clay everywhere. The mountains and the views. This whole salt mine has an amazing view. I don't know what to say. It might be hard for you to see on camera, but that's amazing. There's the train over there. We're gonna take it. And uh, I guess we'll see from there. We're we gonna find, maybe we're gonna find some salt. And of course, no mountain is complete without the goats. Here comes the train. And just when we thought the surprises were over, a train rolled by. Yes, an actual train, which we actually got on. The old tracks weren't just for show. Whoa. Wow, it is much cooler in here. I was not expecting that. It's like a natural air conditioning. It's amazing. Yes, I did say cool, literally, because as we approached the entrance, the air got cooler. It turns out the mine has its own natural air conditioning system. It's like walking into a perfectly temperature-controlled time capsule. It was cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. Nature's own thermostat. Inside, it's like stepping into National Geographic's documentary, minus the commercials. The walls are a canvas of salt artistry. Here's the salt bricks. Uh, guys, take a look. That's all salt. Looks salty. Looks very salty, doesn't it, huh? Shine the light. Yeah, man. Look at this. Beautiful. We also got some salt bricks on the side. It's a carb soap. Look at that. 
interesting. Whoa. The walls are a canvas of salt artistry. Each stop more jaw-dropping than the last. Our tour guide, who I swear must moonlight as a stage actor, delivered facts like PTV had a collaboration with National Geographic for a day. <laughs> Here's like so fresh here. Unbelievable. <laughs> Picture this, entire structures built with salt bricks, each one glowing with a special light that makes you feel like you've stepped into another world. It's architecture meets nature, with the beauty of human creativity, blending in seamlessly with the natural wonders of the earth. These structures are not only mesmerizing, but also a testament to the artistry that has grown within these ancient walls. And at the very heart of it all, there is the Salt Mosque, a remarkable structure that defies expectations. Built in the 1950s, this mosque is entirely constructed from the same salt bricks that made up the mine, yet it holds a serene, sacred presence within the cavernous space. This mosque doesn't just reflect the craftsmanship of the miners, it's a tribute to their dedication and spiritual connection to the work they did here. If that wasn't enough, there's also a salt brick replica of Minaret Pakistan, yes! The iconic tower that stands as a symbol of Pakistan's independence. Crafted with meticulous care, this miniature version captures the essence of the actual monument, but with a twist. It's made entirely of salt. The intention to detail here is incredible, and standing in front of it, you can't help but in awe of both the history it represents and the craftsmanship it took to create something so beautiful inside these very walls. Did I mention that we're actually on the motorway right now? Apparently this hall is called a motorway. Pretty cool. You know, after all this walking, I am feeling kind of down. Maybe I need some electrolytes. Let's go try some salt. Let's see if it's sweet or is it. Ugh. Brother, ew. We're inside the salt stomach. Usually, when we eat salt, it's in our stomachs, but today, we decided to visit the salt stomach itself. How cool is that? Let's take a look. Walking on salt, touching the walls of salt, inside the salt stomach. Inside the stomach of the salt. Right? Yeah. We're inside the stomach of the salt. Oh, it's sweet. Ew. I'm just joking. It's salty. It's good. Quality salt. So in this part of the mine, it's so deep it looks like the Mall Road Canal. Over 684 workers work here, and they can produce about 1,200 tons of salt. That's insane. That deep it is. Whew. You don't want to see that if you got stage fright and fear of height. If you're here, say present. If you're not here, say absent. Echo. I'm echo, here. Echo. 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 Bye. Anybody there? Oh my God! It echoes and echoes. Echo. Echo. <laughs> I'd be here for hours if I don't stop. Let's get out of here. At the end of the journey, we stumbled upon a quaint market. Because what's a tourist spot without a little souvenir shopping and some overpriced snacks? The only sweetest thing you'll find is a mango and vanilla swirl ice cream. Let's give it a shot. Trump, do you get a bit of that mango? Amir's ready to buy a flat in the mines. You know, I was expecting this to be like one of those typical thick, thin, watery based ice creams but it's actually not bad it's low fat but it has some cream it tastes good the mango vanilla ice cream and shami kebabs with an omelet underrated street food 
Spotify perfection. Sure, it's a bit pricey, but hey, through the straps, make the best memories, right? As we boarded the train back, I took one last look at the mine, knowing we probably wouldn't be back anytime soon. Well, that was surely an amazing experience. Oh, broad daylight. Man, it's really hot outside. Inside it was like nice and cool. Totally different world. Knowing we probably wouldn't be back anytime soon, those 17 kilometers of broken roads made sure of that. We did grab some salt lamps and chunks of salt to remember the trip. My advice to you is, if you're into history and adventure, Kirara is a must visit. Just maybe bring a lifted Corolla or two, and maybe some pillows so you don't have a bumpy ride. In the end, adventures like these remind us that the journey is just as important as the destination. Whether it's dodging potholes or discovering ancient salt mines, there's always something to learn and cherish. Until next time, stay curious, stay adventurous, and see you later, Zadinators! If you'd like to see more videos, click one of these two. Maybe you'll love them. But I think you'll hate them anyways. Bye!